Shopify Vice President Lauren Padelford put it well when he likened the COVID-19 pandemic to being like a time machine. He suggested what it did is it brought 2030 forward to 2020, and I reckon he's absolutely spot on. There is no doubt that recent times have been tumultuous and challenging. I mean, hey, disruption has become a very real, very tangible concept to all of us. And yet, times of crisis create great opportunity for those that are prepared. As this storm subsides and a new era dawns, smart leaders recognize that now is the time to gear up for what comes next. In this keynote presentation, I pick up on some of the key research findings in my latest book, The New Now. Specifically, I help audiences unpack some of the most important trends that we've seen accelerate rapidly since the beginning of the pandemic. Just to put a spotlight on a few of those trends, Number one, a change in consumer expectations and habits, and this one is huge. You know, throughout the pandemic, three in four consumers tried a new way of shopping for the first time, many of them using e-commerce in a meaningful way for the first time in their lives. 70% of these consumers plan to maintain these habits moving forward. Now, this is not to say that traditional bricks and mortar commerce will disappear, but what consumers are now looking for has changed. And this has huge implications that we simply cannot afford to ignore. Number two is around the whole theme of technological acceleration. If the pandemic saw artificial intelligence, augmented reality, and quantum computing come ahead in leaps and bounds. This is having an enormous influence on making big data usable and it opens up a range of exciting possibilities for a whole host of businesses and industries. You know, a third trend focuses on the theme of demographic change, especially the rise of Generation Z or Generation Z. You know, we've been focused on millennials for a lot of years now, but 2020 actually marked the year that Generation Z began to graduate from university and college. And this is a, a cohort that are forced to be reckoned with. They are 35% of the global population. They wield $143 billion in consumer spending power but they're different. They have their own unique set of expectations, attitudes and values. They are buying different things in different ways and for different reasons than even their elder cousins, the millennials. This group are your future marketplace and your future workforce. Now is the time to get your head around what makes them tick so you can engage them in a meaningful way. And a final trend is the whole theme of, of how we work and the way that has changed. And it's hard to overstate just how significant the great COVID work from home experiment will be when we look back on it in years to come. You know, prior to the pandemic, only 5% of work days were worked remotely or from home. This changed overnight as the COVID pandemic hit. And you know, the genie is well and truly let out of the bottle. You know, according to Gartner, 82% of employers plan to keep remote work arrangements for the years to come. This has massive implications for things like collaboration, culture, uh, mentoring and workforce planning. Now, the COVID-19 pandemic wasn't something that any of us would have chosen, but it happened and it's changed everything forever. You know, a wise mentor once told me that you cannot find new treasure using an old treasure map. And it's true. You know, we all need a new map in a post-pandemic world. You know, there is tremendous opportunity in the coming years for those that are prepared and know where to look. That is the focus of this keynote presentation give you a clear indication of what has changed, a look at what's coming next, and what it will take to win in the new now.